Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today, before we get started, I've got a bit of explaining to do. As you may have seen, the last video um, didn't have any sound audio and something went wrong with my microphone somewhere. I didn't catch it when I was editing, unfortunately. So yeah, I thought I'd still pull it out because it still shows everything. Uh, but unfortunately it showed the stuff. I'd already recorded it so I can't really go back and give you my first reactions because I already did that and lost the uh, recording unfortunately so yeah apologies to the uh, curator of the system Nick118 on um, Discord because that was his two systems but yeah well, I'll go through them briefly um, in this episode as well just to give you my thoughts and opinions um, on the system um, as well but, yeah so it was the Medor 1 quad star system which was the, what I put in the title and then we had the uh, second system called the uh, Gallia um, star system as well so before we actually get into today's one I will quickly show you the quad system so yeah, this was um, in last one, so yeah, the Medor 1 quad system. So I did say in that video, actually, um, which was lost. Uh, yeah, the, uh, I don't know if this is based off a real system or not. I my, my guess was it isn't. But yeah, it was a uh, little system here um, that had, um, yeah, four stars in it. Had a um, like a hot gas giant here, a brown dwarf-like object. And then if we take a massive jump, we had another star here. It was a white star that had nothing around it. And then further out, we had two binary white dwarf pulsar sort of stars here. So we had these two guys. You would have seen them in the thumbnail um, for the video here. And then it had one um, planet in orbit over here as well. So that was just the uh, full lineup. So, yeah, it was a very quick little system. We got through it in about a couple of minutes. I mean, that last video. But, yeah, the lineup was mostly focused on the stars. So, yeah, that was that system. So that was, yeah, from Nick118 in... Um, discord so yeah there we go and then the second system was the longer one in that video so if we go back in here i don't know was that the correct one i clicked on and then that was the wrong system no it was this one this was the system that's from another video that one um so yeah here we go so it was this system here and i'll just get a lineup of the full thing but um yeah i gave my thoughts on this this to me looked like a sort of solar system sort of it, it did remind me of our solar system a lot i had like an inner planets here but the inner planets were merged with the asteroid belt had four planets also if you want to see these in more detail you can go back to that video the last video where there was no voice audio but then it had um some outer planets most of them are gas giants so we had yeah five six then we had the gas giants from seven eight um nine and i believe ten as well and those two were rockies here. There's two gas giants. There was also an 11 out here, which was a Uranus um, look like. And then the rest of it was all just dwarf planets, which was quite cool. Like all Sedna-like objects, all crazy orbits. There's also a Kuiper belt. If you look carefully, you can see an asteroid belt even further out there. But going into the lineup of the um, whole objects, my I did have them some favourites. So, yeah, this gas giant here took, was my favourite by far. Really, really enjoyed the, uh, the colour choices on that one. So that was my favourite one. Onto the rocky planets. Planet 2 was my favourite, which was the very first planet we saw. Or oh, second one, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one here, that was I, I enjoyed that one. Um, this one here as well. I did like the colour choosing on that. Then we had this Mars sort of look like. Definitely reminded me of Mars a lot. Like that one as well. They were my sort of top three, I'd say. And then this this moon one as well. This coloured moon. I did like that um, as well. So yeah, that's just my brief thoughts on the system. But if you want to see me go for it in all detail, just with the Universe Sandbox music playing, then go ahead and check out the previous video. But I'm guessing most of you have since you're watching the, this new part. But yeah, there we go. So that is all of that um, episode all cleaned up. So yeah, again, apologies to that. And yeah, I, I don't know what went wrong with my microphone. So yeah, unfortunately, um, all that audio was lost in the raw file. Now, yeah, never spotted it in the edit, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, there we go. So now moving on to today's systems yeah these two systems are from cyrus plays in discord um so yeah is the torius system so this is an update to a system we had before and there was two systems in this zip file i was sent so um yeah we're gonna be checking out those but before we begin um on these ones guys um just a quick heads up as always if you'd like to send in your own systems make sure to draw my discord server link in the description where you can uh send your systems in there and i can um, check them out add them straight into a queue for me to um do there or you can let me the name of the, your system in the comment section on the steam workshop so you can literally just say uh, here's my system on the Steam Workshop. Tell me the name of it. I can go ahead and find it. But please note it's a less reliable way of getting systems in as I may not see the comments or they may get lost. So please keep that in mind. But with that all out of the way, let's get into this. So, yeah, this system from Cyrus Plays here. He's an old user. He's been around for a long time now. Um, right, here we go. So one and two. So, yeah, this is updated. I checked the file sizes. They are different size. So there's definitely things that have been added to this system here. So if we just get a full look of it. It was seen in one of the more recent ones, but there is the uh, this is the first of the two systems here. And it's also got some information as well. So this is the first system. This should go first. 
So in a solar system, an intelligent civilization known as the Tyr, yeah, I remember this, um, has spouted up on the fourth planet of the um, system. Unfortunately, they are wasteful beings and have polluted their planet's atmosphere. This wastefulness has attracted the attraction of someone else. Yeah, I remember this. This was cool. I, I like this. Um, and then here are some info about the planets. So first of the planets here, this is Revere. That, I want to say, looks different to how it did before. Um, the Tyr word for fire. The hot Jupiter's got a very interesting color. It's also disturbed the orbit of the next planet out, so Sonara. Um, has migrated inwards right so there we go first object there then we've got the second one so yeah, it's good to go back and see some updates um, of systems i like that so this is the second one so the tier world for wanderer it's a small planet that was formed in the iron rich inner system um, that was until the gravitational influence affected its orbit to its shape today so if we look at its orbit we can see yeah it's slightly uh slightly more inclined it goes further out goes past the third planet here so this is grass Ditara, named after the phrase for one who doesn't belong this gas giant literally shouldn't be here inward migration of revere which was the first one should have presented prevented any more gas giants from migrating inwards so this planet's a mystery how it got here and it's also got one moon as well with a nice yellow trail there so there's its moon all righty and then it's also got a second moon as well so a little micro little object here as well all righty Right, now we got Futir over here. I remember this one. Yeah, the home world of the Tyr. It is a beautiful planet with blue vegetation. It looks very nice indeed. Um, unfortunately, it is polluted by the Tyr as they rapidly modernise, hence the beige-coloured sky and clouds. So you've got very pollution-heavy. See, that atmosphere is getting slightly uh, tinted there. It's also got some city lights on it as well. But yeah, I believe it's different than it was before. It's quite similar, if I remember right, but there's definitely stuff added in these because they their file sizes are larger. Right, um, so yeah, here is the um, moon of it as well. Alrighty, now we're moving to Molir. I remember Molir. I think that was a gas... Was it a gas giant? Oh, no, no, this was the... Yeah, it has rings now. I don't know if it had rings before. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember, honestly. But yeah, this one was the one that looked quite similar to the main the home world. So uh, a small uh, semi happy world is a mostly frozen over world that has life. So we can check the stats on this guy, actually. So 86 and 46. And it has it one moon as well. And we'll quickly check the stats on the Futir as well. So what was the stats? This one had 97, but no life likelihood for us uh, Earth beings. So I wonder why that is. Infrared, it's got one ATM. Is it just too cold, maybe? I don't know. I can't. I don't really know why that stat isn't working there. But yeah, there we go. All right, so the next object out was this gas shine. I think that's different as well. So yeah, here we go. So it's got a nice dark blue band, some lighter... Uh, bands on it as well so this is a uh, a beautiful blue gas shine it's beautiful blue color has inspired many termines hence its name tur being the inspiration of tur. right and then also here we go the very last objects we'll quickly go through the um, moons quickly as well so here they are all are all righty so there we go so it's some micro ones but yeah there we go so further out we have got oh and there's one more as well so there's another dwarf planet there and then we had a comet but if we zoom out more where is it? It's around here somewhere. Where is the mothership? I know it's in here because we saw it before. Yeah, there you go. Diamond class destroyer. Mothership divine planet protectors. So here we go. Now, wonder why they're here. Because what did we read earlier on? The home world. It is a beautiful planet. Unfortunately, it has been polluted. And these guys are planet protectors. So here we go. So there's the mothership. And it's also got two destroyers which are in the form of pyramids. So yeah, these guys are heading inwards to that system. So that is the part one of this system. So yeah, I think it's quite similar to what we saw before. But there's, it's definitely an update of some kind. So there's definitely something in here. Um, so there's the blue gas giant. Obviously my favourite pick in there. And then my favourite of the Rockies has got to be, to be between the Futir or Molir. Which is this one here. I think I like more here more, just simply because it's got the nicer atmosphere. But I mean, this one also very nice. But yeah, obviously the polluted atmosphere—it's all part of like the storyline um, in this system. But yeah, there we go. So that's part one, and now we're moving on to the sequel. So this is system two. So if we go into this, if I remember, it takes place in the future. So this should go second. This takes two hundred years after the first system. Uh, welcome to the one, um, or, or welcome one to the Tara system. Okay, a former, a former habitable solar system. Now, so keep that in mind. It's now made uninhabitable due to the Tur. So the Tur are the people who originally lived here, under our divine control. So this is from the perspective of the um, mothership, the planet, the divine planet protectors. This is from their perspective. So under our divine control, we are currently trying to rebuild these uh, gods, planets to their glorious former selves. Unfortunately, there are a few heretics which are the tier, I'm guessing, the tier of the heretics who resist our teachings. Regardless, here's some info about the planets. 
So red trails is under rebel control. So this object here. Okay, so we are going to start off at the start again. So there's the destroyer. So it's moved inwards. Right, so we'll see again. We've got this gas giant here. Nothing has changed there. Right, so that's the same uh, for, for us here. This one is the home base of the heretics. So um, dry sands and dust storms. So this one's completely different to how it was before. Um, so um, yeah, it does not uh, deserve to have those filthy rebels on it. We have stationed a diamond destroyer near its orbit. So there we go. So yeah, that's changed. So there we go. Then there's Sonara again. So this was the one that had the weird uh, orbit. Then Glass Ditara or guitar over here, so gas giant, obviously. Then its moon has actually been, um, yeah, its moon has the heretics on them there. And also another moon. Then there's the destroyer. So one of the destroyers is here. So there we go. And then the mothership is in, and then the other destroyer is also in orbit as well. Where did the mothership end up? I know it's in here somewhere. Right. Futir is where the once beautiful Hattel World. So this is the planet. It's completely ruined from where we last saw it. Last time we saw it, it had blue, a slightly uh, polluted atmosphere. But now it is completely covered over with um, atmosphere. So it's almost like a Venus-like state. Underneath it is completely ruined. I'm guessing it's, uh, it won't have that 97 stat anymore. So it's all the way down at 76. So it's lost a lot of similarity there. There is the mothership. And there's also a terraformer in orbit as well. And it's also got yeah, the moon. That's there once more. Right, so the next one, so there's there's Molly uh, or the Molly again. That I'm guessing is stayed the same. So the, it's been stayed. It's the same. Yeah, it's got a bit more water on it this time. Let's, let's check the stats again. Let's see if it's any different. Eighty six and forty six. Okay, so there we go. So looking good. Right. So nothing. Nothing's changed there. Right. Now we are moving on. So. So where are we? Um, where is this one? Oh, it's the moon of the gas giant. Okay, so we already saw that. Yeah, grass the um, grass the tower. It is in rocky gold. We will place another destroyer in orbit. Yeah, so that's there. Right now we're moving on to the blue gas giant. There's one moon around here. It has some uh, red. Oh, no, uh, here we go. So this moon here has got some uh, rebels on it. Alrighty. So there we go. Right now we're moving on to um, this object over here. So uh, where, where, hang on, where was Futir? Futir was yeah, so that that was. Futir was here. Yeah, that was the original world. Okay. Yeah, so um, polluted. Shadow of itself and all because of those wretched tier, which was the inhabitants that were on it in the previous system. Um, we are currently trying to restore it, as we saw from the Terraformer. Right, and then moving on. So C3R35, a strange interstellar traveller of unknown origin. And it is a series. So it's a random series. Right. And you can sort of see a C E R E five. That would if you like number three could be used as an e so series so yes it's a sort of little code name for series i guess and then uh last object out here the dwarf planet has also got the um uh, rebels on it and it's got a moon very close to it as we can see there and then um, also a dwarf planet right and then yeah we'll see further out we have the comet which is um all the way over here as well so yeah there we go so that is part two of the system but overall i I can't really see anything too different, I want to say. Um, but yeah, it ha it was an update. So some, so he must have changed the um, textures or something must have changed because the file size was definitely bigger. I did check it. So yeah, something definitely um, changed. But yeah, there we go. So that is the Tarius system part one and two. And yeah, story-wise, really, really good. Really enjoyed it. And then the planets as well, very nice indeed. But yeah, I, the stories, I like it. when Whenever you guys do like little stories or little plots bet between the systems, then we do a part one and a part two. Really, really enjoy that. I mean, definitely keep those coming. I really enjoy the little plots um, and like um, action that goes on between the systems, like part one and two. Really, really cool stuff. Massive thumbs up. Really, really enjoyed that. So yeah, there we go. And yeah, it's good to uh, come back and visit it and read it all again because yeah, it was good. So yeah, there we go. And that is, yeah, the Taurus system. And then part one and part two. So yeah, there we go. So a massive thanks to Cyrus Plays for sending that system in again. And then also thanks again for Nick118 who sent the last one in as well since yeah, I obviously didn't get to say thanks to him because yeah, no uh, audio. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. So like I said, if you would like to send in your own system, so it's either your Discord or let me know in the comments. And yeah, let's see if we can go for 40 likes on today's video, guys. Let's really see if we can hit that like button. It really means a lot. It helps the channel out. Amazing stuff. And yeah, guys, with that all um, said and done, um, also subscribe for more helps on the journey to 16,000 subscribers as well. Make sure you all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.